Russell Wilson's interception in Super Bowl 49. Nothing makes me happier than other people's misery. Oh, no! And that's why I'm excited that this is number one on the list. Fact is, Seattle should have won his second Super Bowl in a row. And they just blew it with the worst play in history. And it's still an If you were to ask the average person today, where do you think that play ranks in NFL history? I think a number of people would put it pretty darn high. So that would be the worst play. See, that's not fair. And let me tell you why that's not fair. Because that was an amazing play by Malcolm Butler. Malcolm Butler stepping through the throw! You're cheapening Malcolm Butler's achievement there by calling that the worst play. It's actually a very, it's a great play. Our number one play may have shocked almost everyone. Unreal! But not the Patriots. This wasn't just pure luck. This wasn't just a random guess by a player at the line. The Patriots had actually practiced this exact play, and it was Malcolm Butler who got burned in practice on this play. So when he saw the Seahawks line up in this formation, a light went off in his head. Brandon Browner recognized the play and told him where to go and what to do. And they did exactly what they needed to do at that time. Most people lay the blame for our number one worst play on a coaching decision gone wrong. That's the worst play in history because that was the first time it felt like the coach was like, I don't know, this, this is the one moment I could be smarter than that coach. He took himself out of the game and his ego got in the way. We never give you this. That's hubris. That's the coach going, pass it. P. Carroll, no, 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 no. Pass it. Trust me. <laughs> The Seahawks and Pete Carroll's legacy is going to be that play. You are on the one-yard line, and you have number 24, and you drop back pass. Are you kidding me? We're going to be second-guessing that forever. No way in the world. Second down, you got that beast back there. Time out. You take that shot. And you got another down. I'm glad they didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Love the choice they made. They didn't be out of that choice. What an unbelievable turn of events. <laughs> that is the one thing you do not do. They're on the one yard line. Why? They had three shots at running in the ball. What were you thinking? How are you throwing that ball? Everybody knew that they should run the ball. Marshawn Lynch knew they should run the ball. Marshawn has done a fair amount of damage today. He pounded down the line. My grandma knew they should run the ball. The only guy who didn't know that they should run the ball was Pete Carroll. Malcolm Butler plays number one, and it's not even close. If you ask me, give me a word when you think of that play. Stupidity. What, what are they doing? This has to be on the list. This is the worst play in football's history. It's got to be one of the dumbest calls offensively in Super Bowl history. Are you kidding me? This is the worst football play at any level for over 100 years in North America. It was sort of epic system failure from the call to the implementation of the call to the execution of the call. Worst play in NFL history from start to finish, from soup to nuts, the worst thing I've ever seen.